welcome my dear children i am sir sunil your physics teacher how are you all i hope you all are fine okay these days we are discussing about our chapter matter from this chapter we are going to discuss today one important topic explanation of evaporation by the molecular model okay students please take out your book all those who don't have the book please stay on video okay dear children here is our topic explanation of evaporation by the molecular model please underline the topic explanation of evaporation by the molecular model in a liquid we know that how the molecules are arranged that is very loosely comparatively solid so these molecules can move here and there always the liquid molecules are in a motion and also they collide with each other they collide with each other the time of collision some molecules below the surface of the liquid acquire sufficient kinetic energy so by the movement of the molecules the liquid molecules acquired the kinetic energy to overcome the force of attraction of other molecules and their intermolecular spacing increases clear by this collision the overcome they got the kinetic energy to overcome the force of attraction we know that in between the molecules there is force of attraction by this kinetic energy by the collision of the molecules in a liquid it acquires the kinetic energy due to this kinetic energy they overcome the force of attraction of other molecules and their intermolecular spacing increases clear the intermolecular spaces increases we know that in liquid the intermolecular space is there of course comparatively solid it is small but comparatively gas it is less so just to think about this if the intermolecular space between the molecules in a liquid increases means what will happen it will directly changes to third stage that is gaseous okay here such molecules move to the surface of the liquid the molecules which increases its intermolecular space move to the surface of the liquid and they absorb heat from the surroundings they absorbs heat from the surroundings so as to escape out into the atmosphere with the atmospheric air molecules okay students this process this particular process is called evaporation what we called earlier now here is our interesting fact do you know okay students more temperature of a liquid higher will be the rate of molecules escaping from its surface if the temperature is more eh? if the temperature is more what will happen the rate of evaporation that will increase more the temperature of a liquid higher will be the rate of molecules escaping from its surface surface the more molecules escaping from its surface means the more evaporation happens and second point is more the area of exposed to surface more will be the number of molecules escaping out of the surface if the area of the surface is more it will be the number of molecules escaping out of surface also will be more there will be the number of 
molecules escaping out of the surface also will be more. Then another point, third one point, in a volatile liquid, the force of attraction among the molecules is negligible. So, they escape out more easily in volatile liquids. In volatile liquids, the molecules escape out more easily. Why? Because the force of attraction among the molecules that is negligible. Another point on blowing air, on blowing air, the air molecules take away the liquid molecules from the surface with them and other molecules of the liquid occupy their space. Okay, on blowing air, the air molecules take away the liquid molecules. The air molecules take away the liquid molecules from the surface from the surface with them and other molecules of the liquid occupy that particular place. This increases the rate of evaporation. Okay. Then in humid air, the water molecules present in the air near the surface of the liquid do not allow the molecules of the liquid to escape out easily they decrease the rate of evaporation. In humid air, if the air is having humidity, the water molecules present in the air near the surface of the liquid do not allow, it do not allow the molecules of the liquid to escape out easily. That's why they decrease the rate of evaporation. Okay, students. Now, our topic is evaporation produces cooling. Evaporation produces cooling. We know that if a little alcohol or spirit is powered on our palm, it gives a soothing or cooling sensation. If some alcohol or spirit is powered on cotton or wool wrapped around the bulb of a thermometer, what will happen? The reading of the thermometer definitely falls. This shows that cooling is produced when a liquid evaporates. When a liquid evaporates, cooling is produced. The reason for cooling, the reasons for this cooling in evaporation is that when a liquid changes into vapor, when a liquid changes into vapor, it requires heat, we know that. It requires heat. This heat is supplied by the surroundings of the liquid. The liquid changes to vapor in case of evaporation. For that, it requires heat. This heat is supplied by the surroundings of the liquid. The above both examples, the surroundings are, one is thermometer, another one, another one, one what it is? Our palm. Liquid supplied the heat by the surroundings of the liquid, such as palm, or cotton wrapped around the thermometer in the above examples. Okay. This results in falling temperature in the surroundings. Okay, students, now we are going to discuss about the applications of evaporation. Applications of evaporation. In summer, water gets cooled in an earthen pot. Surahi. What is the reason? The reason is that water seeps out on the surface through the pores in the spot and it evaporates. Small pores are there in earthen pot. Water seeps out on the surface through the pores in the pot and it evaporates. 
the heat required for evaporation we know that for the evaporation the heat is required that heat is taken from water inside the pot clear inside the pot there is water that heat the evaporation is needed heat that heat is heat is taken from water inside the pot which therefore gets a cold that's why water gets cold from water the heat is taken okay that's why water gets cooled in earthen pot now another application you see always doctors are advising to put the strips of wet cloth on the forehead of a patient having high fever if any patient having high fever what the doctors will advise first they advise to put the strips of wet cloth on the forehead what is the reason behind it the same reason the reason is that water of the strips evaporates during evaporation water takes heat from the particular body from our body from the patient's body and thus the temperature of the patient's body decreases okay then another example another application is we often pour tea in a saucer to cool it faster to cool the tea faster we are pouring the tea in a saucer why because area of the glass and saucer that is different which one is having more area really we know that that is saucer the more area increases the evaporation clear increases the evaporation in the saucer the surface area of tea increases and evaporation becomes faster okay that's why we are pouring tea in a saucer to cool it now another one evaporation of a sweat from our body helps to maintain the body temperature at 37 degrees celsius or 98.6 fahrenheit when sweat evaporates it requires heat which takes away from our body as a result the temperature falls to keep the body at 37 degree celsius okay students these are the applications in our daily life related to evaporation now we are going to discuss about the difference between the evaporation and the boiling first point is evaporation is a slow process evaporation is a slow process but same time boiling is a rapid process very fast process evaporation is slow but boiling is a rapid process evaporation takes place at the surface of the liquid evaporation takes place at the surface of the liquid but it takes place boiling takes place throughout the mass of liquid throughout mass of full full liquid boiling it affect the full liquid in case of boiling but evaporation takes place only the surface above surface another one it takes place at all temperatures evaporation takes place at all temperatures but boiling takes place at a specific constant temperature which is called the boiling point of the liquid at the boiling point of the liquid when a liquid reach its boiling point then only the boiling will start but evaporation can be happen in all temperatures okay students next one the temperature of surroundings fall 
in case of evaporation the temperature of the surroundings fall but the temperature of surroundings remains constant in boiling the temperature of surroundings remains constant in a boiling these are the differences between evaporation and a boiling okay please go through it it's very important chart you have to learn it now we are going to discuss about sublimation and deposition okay students it's the time to wind up our class today i hope that you understood the class if you have any doubt you can ask to me directly okay students today we can wind up goodbye and have a nice day